Hello and uh, welcome to Python Voice Assistant Part 2. Today we are going to build upon what we have done in the previous session. If you have not checked out the first video, then be sure to watch it. Link is in the description below. I'll put the link in the video somewhere as well. Let's dive into it. Let us examine and improve the get audio function. We are going to add few exceptions. Whenever it is not able to recognize the audio or the service is down, we are printing the exceptions. Instead of printing the exceptions, it can speak out a phrase. For example, sorry, I did not get that. This will be for dot unknown value error. If this error comes up, then it means that microphone did not pick up the audio properly. We can also check if sr.request returns an error, then we can say, sorry, the service is not available. While you are here, let us convert the set variable to lowercase, so we don't have to convert it in the while loop. Our audio function is much improved, and it returns intuitive errors if there are any issues. Next, we are going to clean up the while loop. Instead of checking for condition and responding here, we can move this logic to a new function. So I'll cut this logic, create a new function. Let us begin with a comment. I will define a function called response. It takes text as an argument, and we can paste our logic here. Make sure the indentation is correct after the colon. Now we can call this function from the while loop. I will remove the lowercase from the get audio since we already converted the text to lowercase in the get audio function. I will call the respond function and pass it the text variable. This looks much cleaner. Before adding new commands, I want to improve the YouTube and Wikipedia search commands. Instead of just opening the YouTube URL, we can ask the user to give us a keyword or phrase to search for. Then we pass this keyword to query string, parameter, or URL parameter. Let's change the text in the speak function to what do you want to search for? Then declare a variable called keyword, and we are going to set this equal to get audio function. This will give us the keyword, and now we can check if this keyword is not blank. Then I am going to append to YouTube URL result question mark search underscore query equals to and pass in the keyword. We can pass variable in curly braces in the F string. I'll fix the indent on the next line. And now we have the functionality to search for specific keywords on YouTube. I will call the speak function with the F string and give it a text. Here is what I find for a keyword on YouTube. Keyword will be replaced with an actual term or phrase user speaks into the microphone. I will add the same functionality to Wikipedia search. If the condition is true, then ask the user for input, get the search phrase, and pass it to the summary function. Check the query variable and fix the indents and the new functionality is in place. We are ready to add new commands to our program. Let's add a command to empty recycle bin. For this, we will need a package called bin shell. With this package, we can perform certain Windows tasks. I'll import the package and scroll down to under PyJokes condition and add in a new elif clause. If the command includes empty recycle bin in the text, then I'll call winshell.recyclebin.emptyRecycleBin. Empty function takes few arguments. So I'll set the confirm and show progress to false and set the sound to true. And then we can speak out that the recycle bin has been emptied. We can also give it the ability to tell time. Uh, so for this, I'll import date time. So from date time, I will import 
date time. Let's check the condition and if it includes what time in the text, then we get the time in proper format. I'll call date time today strf time function and save it into a variable. Pass it the format that we want. In this case, it will be hours, minutes, and with am or pm. Let's print out and speak the time. Let's have some fun with it and add the functionality to play and stop music. I'll import Pygame package to play music. So let's scroll up to the import section and from Pygame, let's import Mixer. Uh, let's define a couple of functions to play and stop music. First, I'll define the play music function. This takes audio file location as an argument. Uh, first, we need to initialize the mixer, so it will be mixer.init function, then load the song. So for this, we will call mixer.music.load and pass it the song location. And finally, mixer.music.play function to play the music. In order to stop the music, we call mixer.music.stop and let's add this under a function called stop music function. We are going to add another clause and check for the condition of either play music or play song in the text. Then we can speak the phrase now playing. Then we define the music directory. I'll paste the location of the directory here and I am escaping the backslash with, by adding another backslash to the string. We can go ahead and list the file in the directory with os.listdir function and by passing it the directory location. I'll declare a counter variable and set the initial value to zero. Uh, let's go ahead and print out the list of songs in this directory. Uh, then we can call the play music function and pass it uh, the location, which is concatenating uh, the music directory plus a list of song uh, with the first index. I'll comment out the counter for now Let's also check uh, for the stop music condition and call the stop music function. Uh, let's go ahead and add the stopping playback text to speak function. This is a good time to save our work and test out the new functionality. I'll go ahead and run the app. What time is it? 12 p.m. Play music. Now playing. It seems there is an error in the code. I see what happened there. We combined the string with a plus symbol, not with an equal sign. So the file location was incorrect. Let me save this change and try again. Play music. Now playing. Stop music. Stopping playback. Empty recycle bin. Recycle bin emptied. Tell me a joke. Java. Write once, run away. Open YouTube. What do you want to search for? Python. Here is what I have found for Python on YouTube. Alright, it opened YouTube, but an error occurred on the searching. It seems I have made a mistake in the URL. It should be results with an S. So I'll go ahead and make this change and save the work. Let's try and search the YouTube again. Open YouTube. What do you want to search for? Python. Here is what I have found for Python on YouTube. It worked this time around. I'll bring up the browser. It launched YouTube and search for the keyword. 
These are the top results for the Python. This seems like a good point to stop. In the next session, I'll add a custom project uh, to the Python Voice Assistant that organizes our, fi our folders uh, per file extension. For example, the download folder can get messy with all sorts of files over months. This utility will create folders by grouping the similar files by extension and move those files into folders. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. This is all for now. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you.